This is Jill with Sunflower Quilts. Today I want to show you how we square up a quilt after you get it back from the long arm quilter. In this case, Jamie quilted this for us. She always does such a great job, but it's always fun when she mails a quilt back to me. This particular quilt is about 42 by 60 inches, and um, it's, it is on point. So the first thing you want to look at when you start squaring up your quilts when you get it back from the long arm quilter is you want to find guidelines as to which you can follow consistently all the way around for squaring up and using those same numbers on your ruler for squaring up so everything stays nice and square and by also paying attention to uh, your corners, because the corners you don't want to be caliwalky. They'll be kind of, it'd be hard to work with. Also, since this quilt's on point, there's not any border on it, but our guideline that we're going to work on is th to make sure we keep these quarter inch marks so that this doesn't get cropped into at all those blocks. So uh, what I do first is I just go ahead and kind of check out my guidelines and what I'm going to do here is I've also got this guideline that's very very important to keep that quarter inch in but also where these blocks match up they should be pretty consistent so I'm going to use this and this point as a guideline in between the blocks as my two guidelines just to, to start with it. So what I'll do is I'm going to put my quarter inch uh, directly on the points here of the squares to keep my quarter inch seam allowance. And you might have to play with it just a little but th that's all right. Now as I look over here and I look at this second guideline I want to keep everything at an eighth of an inch mark according to this ruler. I know it's kind of hard to see. And that will ensure with a quarter inch at this mark and just one eighth inch here. So this actually will be um, an eight and three eighths area I'm working with. I have an eight and a half by 24 inch ruler. Also, since we do have a corner, we also need to go ahead and think about that. Do the same thing. Have this at the quarter inch mark right here at your corner. Keep, while keeping your quarter inch placement accurate along this edge. And having your eighth inch here along this edge, along your, between your blocks. That looks pretty good. Also, as I go this way, I can see that I want to keep everything here at one, two, three, four, and three eighths. We'll be going across this way when I go along the sides. And if you look here, you can see one, two, three, four and three eighths should be directly in the center here of these marks as well. And that seems to work pretty well. So then we'll go ahead and we'll just cut this as long as it will go. And we're going to do our first corner. Now we have the guidelines in place to keep, continue to follow all the way around. So we'll just continue with those guidelines. We're going to do our quarter inch uh, from our points to make sure that when we put the binding on, the points won't come out. And since I can't see all the way to this corner, I'm not going to, I'm just gonna go as far as I'm comfortable with cutting. Then here we're going to find our eighth again. Looks great. And we'll continue cutting. Lots of layers there where all those uh, seams match up. Now I'll take it and we've done the first short side. And we're going to take it and I'm going to just continue here 
And if, oh, this is a great way to um, sometimes if you make a mistake or it's not quite square for you, I'm doing my quarter inch and aligning that. And then now we need to come in a quarter inch along this side on these points of the squares. Keeping this equal and also making sure that three, our guidelines are accurate. Once you have that first corner, it usually works pretty well to stay straight. Now, if you have a quilt that isn't on point, that has borders, uh, you can use your border, as long as it's straight, sewn pretty straight, as um, a marking guideline for you for cutting. Uh, so, say you have a six inch border, you're gonna want a quarter of an inch for your uh, binding to be attached. So you would go ahead and do a, uh, say, six and a quarter inches from that seam line on the border. And that would be your guideline. And same thing as far as keeping uh, the, um, uh, everything straight, you, you deal with your corner the same way. I hope that's helped you kind of get an idea of how to square up a quilt after you get it from the long old armor. And it's not as hard as you think. It's just big, a lot to work with. But just take your time and you'll be able to get the job done and get that binding on and show off your beautiful quilt. Thanks for viewing today. Sunflowerquilts.com.